I'm speaking here today on behalf of the international network of people who use drugs. We're here to say that the war on drugs 10 years on has failed completely. We are saying that it is time to put public health first, to recognise that the only science-based policy on drugs is harm reduction, needle exchange, opiate substitution therapies and involving drug users for change. We are here today ready to negotiate the peace. Input is a global network of people who use drugs. We are um, organised around the desire to protect the health of people who use drugs and to defend their rights or our rights as a community. Till now I have questions from people who say it's so good of you that you'll have quit. And uh, they get a little taken aback when we say, you know, we haven't quit. I would like to change the state of mind of drug users themselves because a lot of them, they think that, um, well, I'm junkie, I don't deserve a better life. We should really think about how to make these people feel human beings, um, request for their rights, request for normal life, for health, for uh, uh, non-discrimination. El usuario de sustancias también es una persona que tiene responsabilidades, que es padre, que es hijo, que es hermano, que trabaja, que paga sus impuestos, que tiene prioridades en su vida, que es universitario. Eh, estos son los usuarios que tienen que salir a decir, yo consumo drogas, yo soy ciudadano, pleno de derechos, de obligaciones. We are today sick of our people being abused, being murdered, being tortured, being offered restricted health care, being thrown out of housing, having their children taken away from them. It is time for change. On the 1st of November, on the International Drug Users Day, we made an action. And I know there were people in Australia who also made an action and uh, people knew that they are part of a big community and it made them feel uh, better, stronger, you know, they made them feel more sure of what they are doing and why they are doing this. I've been an injecting drug user for 37 years. Input is one of the most important things in my life to me at this stage. For 20 years we've been trying to get an international drug users movement happening and until the internet and things like that it was impossible to keep us connected. We can reinforce each other, we can reinvigorate each other, we can just help each other. Input gives us a global voice. There are some situations where we need global pressure to uh, you know, to be brought to a region. Input has a particular role to interface with the global architecture, to, to talk to the United Nations, to the Global Fund and other partners involved in international development. Most of the UN and WHO uh, agencies, as also some governments in Asia, uh, welcome and encourage now the participation of drug users. We have some very diplomatic successes. Now we now have resolutions passed both at UNA's PCB, the Programme Coordinating Board, and also the Commission on Narcotic Drugs, the managing body of the UN Drugs Office on Drugs and Crime. We call on the, on the United Nations to stand for its founding principles of human rights. We cannot have a drug control program that breaches the very fundamental principles on which the United Nations was formed. It is time to put human rights first and to end the war on drugs and to give human rights to my community. If you are serious about seeing a global network for people who use drugs, don't stand on the sidelines waiting to see if we are successful. We have shown ourselves to be effective potential partners. Now give us the resources to let us help us live out that reality.